Oh, is it a busy one? Uh, no, there's just four of us. Okay, nice. It must be nice to like get to hang out. It is actually. It's um, I I don't remember the last time we spent this amount of time together. So it is actually quite nice. Have there been any arguments yet? Any fallings out? Not not yet, but but there have been a few like you know little tipping points that will probably boil over sooner or later, depending on <laughs> yeah. how long we're we're yeah. all here. But no, we've been doing good. And it'll be the smallest thing as well, like, of course. why am I always the one putting the trash out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be something like that. All right, Hey, well, this is, uh, we're calling this quarantine and answer, this, uh, this Instagram live session. Very, very clever. So people have been tweeting questions in. We have had so many. Ooh. Uh, and people want answers, quite frankly. So I'm just going to dive straight into it, if that's all right. Go for it. So the first one, Haley, is from HZY, and they asked, since you said you're learning to play the keyboard, can you play something for me? It is right there. Oh, I can see. Uh, yeah, I know you can. Um, so here's the deal. Absolutely. Not right now, because, well, one, it's not hooked up, and I'll take a second. Uh, okay, I feel yeah, some right. excuses come in. No, no, hold on. I, I know nothing about it. I, I can't lie. I, I, I fully have been like watching YouTube tutorials. Um, I started with like random songs and I was like, oh, there's like a really decently easy looking one of my own. Maybe I'll try and learn this. So I've, I've, it's not great. It's not going so great, but um, I'm working on it. So when I've got something down, Jimmy, I will call you and I will play it for H. Dead Y. Dead Y, yeah. Great. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what song are you going to start with? Something easy. Yeah. Well, I I was learning to play "I Love You" is my current single, um, and I've I, I've gotten like right up to the first. Well, like halfway through the first verse. Okay, but that's it's, quite good. It's yeah, not bad, but it's yeah. I don't know. I text a friend. And I was like, why is this so hard? Like, I, t I was talking to my mom. I was like, why didn't you just, like, glue my hands to a piano when I was younger, damn it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Because it's just like this, this is, it's, it's, I don't know. It's harder later, later, later in life. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm working on it. Every day it gets a little bit easier, so. Oh, you'll get there. I mean, we, we, we could have weeks where we're still locked up, Heidi. So you've got plenty of time to crack it. I know. Check back with me in a couple of weeks and there will really be no excuses. <laughs> I will. I'm going to hold you to that. I am. Uh, Ghost Rider 3000 has said, if you could pick a song and completely make it your own, what song would it be? So somebody else's song. Ooh. Damn, I don't know how to answer that. I feel like that's like, that's like if you could remake a movie, but I, I instantly think of my favorite song, but it's my favorite song because it's so perfect and there's nothing I could do. Yeah. To, to you know what I mean? Like, I, I think what's weirdly enough with I love you's taking any Lennox's I love you's or no more I love you's um, that that was like, I guess, in a way, the perfect sort of scenario where I took a song that I absolutely loved. Um, and, you know, it was worked into the, this record that is now mine. Um, and that's that's pretty cool. But I don't know. That's a tough question. I don't have to think about that. Yeah, you're right. It's hard because a song you love, a perfect song for you is already perfect. So right. you don't want to take a song that you love and then do a not as good version. <laughs> yeah, because it would, yeah, no, it just wouldn't go well. <laughs> um, Rami has asked, in what way has this lockdown been, been an eye opener for you? In more ways than one. Um, I think... I mean, there are so many things that I didn't realize I was taking for granted that I promise I will never again. Um, something as simple as breathing in fresh air, human interaction um, with strangers, let alone people you know and love and are related to. Um, and just, I don't know, It's it's been really amazing to just actually slow down for what feels like the first time in my life um, or the first time in in. Uh, my whole career uh this is like it's incredible just to be able to be home and be with my family and and as as much as there are you know th my whole I'm not with my entire family I'm on the phone with them every day though and I think that's kind of special I mean I've been talking to people and my friends 
all over the country just so much more than I guess I normally would uh, because of what's going on. So just, I don't know, connecting and, and not taking things for granted and, and slowing down and reflecting have been, you know, a couple of things that I've, I've you know, been doing. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to focus, focus on the positives. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, Lily asks, uh, what new hobbies have you picked up since being in lockdown? We've already discussed the keyboard, of course. Yes, there's the keyboard. Um, I, ooh, other hobbies. Listen, I wish nothing more than to have the ability to draw or paint or just be at all artistically inclined when it comes to that. Um, so I got through painting like the first week of quarantine. That didn't go so well. I, would, <laughs> I, would, I was like, I had these little like canvases that I've had forever for no apparent reason. Don't know why I had them in the first place. Um, and just a bunch of paints. And I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Well, I first found out that the canvas I was painting on was an oil for oil. It was basically not for what I, I whatever. It did. It wasn't. It, I was. Set, it wasn't set right for your paint. Okay. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't right. Okay. So I got through that, but um, the keyboard's kind of been my, my go-to uh, as, as far as hobbies, but I got a puppy recently and she has been taking up a ton of my time. Um, and she's kind of, she's not a hobby, but she's, um, she's my, my little friend. And she's been keeping me busy. So. Oh, and there are a lot, there are a lot of work, aren't they, puppies? Yeah. What they she are. Called? She's called Martini. Oh, she's called Martini. Yeah. And what kind of dog is she? Uh, she's a Yorkie. Oh, little York. Oh, I'm jealous. I am yeah, jealous. Yeah, she's, I have to say, as much work as puppies are, generally, she is like a dream. She's like, she sleeps through the night. She's like, she's pretty low maintenance, I, I, I would say. So that's nice. So that's good. That's something to focus on. That's taking your mind yeah. over at the moment. That's good. Um, Daniel has asked, a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse sequel has been confirmed. Can you give me any details about it, please? <laughs> please. Um, I, I wish I could. Uh, I, I, there, there's nothing that I even know um, for me to then tell you, Daniel. Daniel? Daniel. Daniel's the one who's asked, yeah. Daniel's yeah. trying to get the scoop out of you. I know. He's I know. Scoop. Listen, I'm trying to get the scoop myself. <laughs> Daniel, when we get a scoop, we'll let you know. Um, Leon asked, uh, who have you been video calling since the lockdown began? Who is the most famous person you've spoken to? That's from Leon. Um, uh, weird. Apart from me, obviously. Well, I was going to say, yeah, um, yeah. Take me out of it. Jim, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, well, if, well I, honestly, nobody, nobody then. Um, you're the only one. <laughs> Um, I've, I've honestly been calling everybody. I mean, this, you know, it's, um, it's what we're working with here, FaceTime and whatnot. So luckily we have that, that we're able to call. I, it's, it's pretty much all I use anyway. I feel like I rarely call people on the phone. I always just FaceTime them. Um, but the most famous person I've called, let me look. Oh, oh, no, no. Look. Give us, give us the list. Have Let's a little see. scroll. Have a little scroll. <laughs> um, Dude, I literally don't even know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, if there's, no, if there's no one, there's no one. Leon. There's no one. It's all it's all cousins and friends and, you know. Yeah. That's Listen, Leon, I hope that's good enough answer for you, okay? <laughs> um, Dev has asked, how are you keeping physically fit while in lockdown? So. My dad is a personal fitness trainer uh, oh, that's and handy. it's incredibly handy, by the way. I, I was having a conversation with him this morning. We, we train every day um, and I was just saying, I think it's so incredible because I've seen so many people, so many of my friends, so many of my fans, so many people online who are finding so much motivation within themselves and looking up, you know, workout videos and following them and actually seeing results. And I think that's a, that's something, I mean, that's a very hard thing to do. I, I was talking to my dad about the fact that I don't know if, I mean, I'm a very disciplined and, and self-motivated person. I think I would find it somewhere, but I, 
I have a hard time with that stuff. Like I'll pull up a video or, you know, some, I've been doing some weird internet yoga and shit. And I'm like, I'm not doing this right. I know I'm not doing this right. So to have somebody there with me, making sure I'm, you know, actually doing it right um, is so, it's such a blessing. Um, but I was talking to him about it this morning. So I've, I've been working out with him every day um, and just going for walks when I can. And, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, you've got, I mean, it's so lucky you've got that, you've got a person to motivate you in the house. I'm exactly the same as you. I've, I think I've signed, signed up to four apps now, four fitness apps that I'm paying money for. I know, same. Because I can't be bothered. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, all right. Um, uh, let's go for um, Eloise, who has asked, I'm eating so much rubbish being locked in my house. What is the weirdest thing you've eaten since this all started? <laughs> the weirdest thing I've eaten? Yeah. Um. Huh. Any weird food combos? I'm quite partial yeah. to getting some cheese out of the fridge and just having that. Yeah, I, I, weirdly, I've never really been like a super big fan of oreos but i can't stop eating oreos <laughs> there's something about quarantine oreos that's just you know it's what what it is they just taste better yeah yeah M maybe is it because you've got limited options in the house though is it like this is literally all i've got it might it might be that there's yeah. a bit of that as well yeah <laughs> um amanda's asked if you could collaborate with any artist in the world who would it be Big question, that, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Uh, I have, like, 17 that just came to mind. <laughs> wow. Um, can I list a few? Give us a few. Okay. Give us a top three. Drake. Rosalia. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I mean, that... Either one of them would be amazing. Mm, I think so. I'll um, I'll put a, I'll put a good word in for you, Haley. Please do, Jimmy. I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give Drake a text now. I'll drop him a cheeky text. Yeah, cool. cool. Um, <laughs> I'm going to finish with this question from B, who says, um, and you don't have to show me. You can just describe it. What is the last picture in your camera roll? I can't look, can I? Because I I'll lose you. Oh, uh, right? you're gonna lose me. Do you remember what it was? Um, uh, the last picture of my camera. Roll, honestly, it was probably my dog. It was probably Martini, wasn't it? Yeah, Didn't in fact, it was. Cute. It was because last night I gave her a bath, and she absolutely hates that. And it's so funny because she just <laughs> fully looks pissed off. So I definitely <laughs> took a picture of her just like soaking wet, mad as hell. Um, just like wrapped in a little towel. That's the last photo for sure. <laughs> oh, perfect. Hayley, thank you so much for chatting. Of course, thank you. This has been wonderful. I've enjoyed our quarantine and answer session. Me too. I'm so glad it worked. It's all works. The technology yeah. is on our side. Um, <laughs> and we're about to hang out on my radio show. So I'm going on the radio at 7 p.m. And you're co-hosting the Hot 7 at 7 with me. That's right, I am. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> um all right i'll see you there Haley, in about awesome. 25 minutes time thank you for watching okay. guys thanks jimmy see you soon cheers Haley. see you soon bye Thanks, guys everyone. bye 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 bye